So if we're banning skirts and we're saying everyone has to wear trousers, we're removing choice. Yeah. And as a deputy head teacher, lots and lots of my students, the big thing that they worried about, especially girls, was their appearance. And if they didn't feel comfortable, they were less likely to come to school. So I think by banning skirts, there are going to be more girls who are not actually coming to school. There are 24,000 schools in England alone. This is a decision that's been made by around 40 schools. And I think there's a why lot do you of... Why do you support it? Uh, there's a lot of logic to the decision because when you look at what children are doing during an average school day, things like physical education, taking part in drama, practical activities... They don't wear, they don't wear skirts, yeah. the, the uniform skirts for PE. Can, it, I, can, it, I, can, I, can I stop you? Well, there oh, are... Hang on. I mean, they don't, do they? Well, there are a lot of schools who are having to make up for the fact that we're losing physical education in the curriculum by doing five-minute workouts in class or the morning mile, and they don't have time to change. So it encourages physical activity if girls wear trousers. And I think it's, it worries me that girls are concerned about what they look like at school more than being able to partake but in where are day. these girls who worry about what they're looking like? Well, this, is, this was... Yeah, Ruth's I point. mean, a, a lot of girls do worry about what they're looking like. Mm. Have you worked as a teacher in schools? I go into about three or four schools okay. a week. Have you ever UK? worked from, as a teacher with girls pastorally? Have you ever yes. had those discussions? I've, you I, have, I, as a that's what, not as a teacher, but that's what I do, PSHE. OK, mm. because I think if you have those conversations as a teacher with girls, it's a different point of view. Girls don't do physical activity in trousers, in their normal uniform. They change into PE kit. Sorry, I just, want to, I just want to clarify. What is wrong with a skirt? Tell me. Absolutely nothing, but a uniform is designed by its very nature to take away choice. It's making the uniform more You've just uniform. taken away choice. Yeah, exactly. Because that's, that's what a uniform is. Uniform. Mm. You, there's lots of things that you can't wear but to school. But I thought... Where is the feminist ideal of removing a, a young woman's choice? I thought the whole point of feminism, which obviously this is all wrapped up in, is that actually a woman can choose what the hell she wants to wear. Outside of school, but in school, there are lots of things that you can't wear because that's what a uniform is. It's just making the uniform more uniform. And also, I would argue, most of the co-ed schools that I go into, the girls are in skirts and the boys are in trousers. So as much as you can wear either, that doesn't tend to happen. You're going to ban if them at Wimbledon? If part, part, of this is, part of this is to respect, apparently, transgender students, right? I don't understand that link at all. I don't understand why you're so obsessed with transgender people. This, this is not, nothing to do with transgender people. No, but it has, people. Be, it has been linked that, to well, that. That would be a nice side They don't effect, want to offend But that's not the main reason why you do it. may be offended by a skirt. To which I would say, well, what about Wimbledon tennis then? If a transgender player emerges at the top level, do we now ban skirts from Wimbledon? I don't so understand we don't why one... we're talking about a hypothetical transgender it's Wimbledon hypothetical. contestant when we started part off of... talking about schools. Because part kids. of the logic for these schools banning skirts has also been not to offend transgender and students. And I think that's a beautiful side effect of it, but that's not the main reason why you would do it. It's an, e it's an equaliser. It, Should we change the whole way that schools operate for one or two transgender students that's just not in case the main, they're offended? That's not the main reason that you would do it. The, the, the idea that we're making this concession for the benefit of transgender gender people alone is a fallacy. If you're transgender, then you can have a choice as well. You can wear skirt or trousers, and like Pierce said... Well, that's the point. Prior, the priory school, where, as well. Priory school, which I attended years ago, a long time ago now, uh, they actually said, when they did this, that the needs of transgender students must be taken into account. If a transgender student wants to wear trousers or a skirt, give them the choice of doing that. I've got no problem with that. What I've got a problem is in telling all these girls, you are not allowed mm. to wear a skirt anymore. I think it's a bit you're... like when you have girls' schools, you say, we can't use the word girls girl anymore. You're called a girl school. I think what is going wrong with this mis country? You're misunderstanding how, what it's like to grow up as a transgender or gender neutral or gender fluid teen, how difficult that but I'm can not, be. I'm not. You're, you're I'm not. not. I'm if saying everybody's if you wearing wear, the same clothes, I'm saying if you want to wear a skirt, wear a skirt. Wear a skirt. If you want to wear trousers, but wear what if a trousers. They don't know what what they I don't want. want is girls being taught. I've got a young daughter, six and a half. As she gets older, I don't want some busybody teacher saying, you're not allowed to wear a skirt to school. Yeah. Well, that's, the, that's mm. the difference between you and me, Piers. I trust teachers and I trust the judgments of these Teachers really? You trust the school. judgment of these teachers? Absolutely. Oh, yes. trust them yeah. schools, like schools tell children what they can wear all the time. This is like, I mean, this your, like Chairman your daughter Mao's is China. going to have to obey all this sorts of This is like Chairman Mao's rules. China. You will all so wear the exact same So you would abolish thing. uniform altogether, would you, Pierce? And you No, and I you would give a girl a choice. If a yeah. girl particularly doesn't want to wear a skirt, let her wear a pair of trousers. But I bet you 95% would choose the skirt on. And well, lots of girls actually prefer to wear skirts because they feel more self-conscious in trousers. And that is... I worked at mixed schools my whole career 
And lots of the girls would prefer to wear skirts because they feel more self-conscious mm -hmm. when they're a teenager in trousers because it draws mm -hmm. attention to certain parts of their body that are developing. So they would have a preference. Sometimes, I think we need to ask the young people yeah. what they well, want. Well, that's interesting because the Girl Guiding National Attitude Survey, which surveys thousands of young women every single year, found that actually they wanted to change their Girl mm -hmm. Guiding uniform to make it trousers because that was what the majority of those surveys wanted. I'd hate not to have the choice. Wanted. So you'd like to ban skirts line. altogether, really, wouldn't you? No. Schools, girl guys, where else do you want to ban them? I don't, I don't want to ban... You do. This you do. Is, like I said, the They're parameters offensive. of this no. debate are in the Natasha wrong place. Natasha says it's a practical choice. I mean, you know, for these organisations to bring in to be trousers, able to do the thing so that not. you can it's be, a, it's a, it's you can not. be more. It's active. a totalitarian, totalitarian state order. That's what it is. You're 40, reacting. Forty schools have said no girls can wear skirts again. Mm. That is the kind of thing I'd expect in North Korea or China, not in Great Britain. But it is what's in behind Great the Britain, uniform I policy, isn't it? I would like girls to be allowed to wear skirts if they choose to do so. We hear right? that loud and if you don't agree with that, there's something wrong with you. In fact, it's time for the click of the fingers. Have we got it? Uh... Wait. The world's gone nuts.